Hello there, welcome to the first edition of The Drive with Eric. Now, this is the show for who is in Kenyan sport. I'll be talking to the Kenyan athletes, management, the reporters, everyone. They'll be giving me their story while still showing them the best cars we have in town. And the first car today is the modern day Lexus, the hybrid. Now, this is the car that you need to go to work with. This is the car that you need to go and take your family somewhere. I'm talking about RX450H because this man, I don't know even how to tell you. Now, the first athlete of this episode is Kenya Sevens captain Andrew Amonde. Amonde was the captain who led us to the Kenya Sevens winning title at Singapore Sevens in 2016. He has also won more Triple Kenya Cup titles with KCB and today we'll be talking to him. Enjoy. Hey, Andrew. Mambo. Hey, Asante Manze. We want to talk about you today. We want to tell your story. Yes. Kenya Sevens, KCB. Karibu, yeah, karibu de, tuko salama. Great place. Tumatulia. Karibu to a home of champions. Hey! Karibu <laughs> sana. Asante, manze. A few of our trophies. Yeah, there are not a few, like there are many anyway. Few, there are many. Uh -huh. There are so many that the cabinets could not fit. You see, we have two cabinets in this room. Wow. So the other cabinets are in the other room. So these ones? These are mostly servants' trophies. Yeah. They are, uh, this is the biggest. This is from... Those are for the 1998. Oh, yeah, 1998. 1998, yeah. Some of them are golf, yeah. uh, chess. This was last year. Yeah. I remember we were there with you. Kenya Harley yeah. Queen, Fortnite Christie 2019. Yeah, yeah, these are last year's seven streets. I remember you seven. Yeah, 2013. 2013. Yeah. So those, those are the... It shows the growth that the club has had in sevens. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because we have not been left so badly by sevens. Oh yeah, of course, they're uh, the best place like in town, uh, in the country for seven. A few. <laughs> so you see, this room is a yeah. servant's room. Yeah. You see, most of the things are here too. So, more oh, we have the Kenya Cup here. That is Kenya Cup winner. This is which year? Oh, this is the, our Kenya Cup winning cup. Yeah. And the Christie's 2015. 2015 Christie's. And this was? The Sawyer Awards. 2019. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. Or my was there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Western Boots, Kapamega 10th. Oh, yeah, Kashans. Do you see the first KCB 7 side? Oh, yeah. Those are the veterans. Nice. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, Kilonzo. Our late brother, Kilonzo. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. It's a really good club also. Really good. Like, it's decorated. For you to come here, like, you feel like you need to keep winning. This, this is our home. This yeah. is where we, st we build our momentum to games. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of tradition that goes on in this room. How is it on certain evenings? Like after you guys have beaten someone like Cabras have come here, Ama Queens? I think our build-up to games starts from from Thursday. Yeah. Because Saturday we have a very big occasion here on Thursday before the team is named for, for the for, game day. For the games on Saturday. Yeah. Because we are either traveling or we are either playing at home or sorry, playing away. Mm. The team is the team is named out on Thursday. Yeah. And this is the podium that is used to name the team and most of the players are always seated at this point. Yeah. Now yeah, I remember I was watching the game here and still watching another game live there. In yeah. The yeah. I think in Singapore. We fortunately we have good sponsors that come in in board and they will yeah. be able to build this opportunity for everyone to be able to achieve. Yeah. So Andrew, which is your favorite spot to quite gym? My favorite spot would be the squat rack. Okay. Because it's very important for all rugby players yeah. to have that leg strength and to be able to have that balance. Yeah. Because this is a part mm -hmm. that you only build yourself th physically yeah. with uh, yourself with, through this yeah. type of machine. Yeah. It is important for people to be strong mm. and the only place you can measure your strength mm. is how, to know how much you can be able to squat. The yeah. more weights you are able to pull and the more you, you, your strength is able to increase. How many days do you use the gym like per week? This gym is open Monday to Monday. No, no, like of course you can't, you can't gym every day. Yeah, like for Program us, players. our gym programs runs like three, three times a week. Okay. Three times a week you must be able to do your full body workout properly yeah. in the three days oh, yeah nice. because we normally play in every weekend yeah so let's say every weekend when you play you have your sunday rest yeah. then your monday you start working yeah then you miss your tuesday because tuesday is a lot of work in the ground there's a lot of running yeah. then there's wednesday yeah. then either friday or yeah. thursday somebody has to put some little work on the gym Sante, drive Naigari, the new wow. Lexus. <laughs> Beautiful car. Yeah, around yeah. town. Naona. Mpaja story yako na wane Nairobi vile na car. Asante yes, sana. Yes, karibu. Sana. 
So Andrew, how has been life in lockdown for you as a player, as a like seventh player, a rugby player? Uh, I would say it's been stressful. Yeah. Because just staying at home every day. Yeah. Not being able to do what you are used to doing every day. Yeah. It comes for a very long time the way we have been home for a very long time. It starts to be very stressful. Yeah. And you feel you are you're not at your best. Nice. And uh -huh. you you don't you don't do much that you're used to doing. Yeah. And you feel like you're losing your strength, you're losing a lot of things that should be happening to your system now. Well Nasasa how are we going to recover that like Nimona kept on sevens on the tour, Dubai sevens on the tour? Like how are we going to recover like as a team? You know, it's not so many teams who are training. I think it's only South Africa when you're Merud is how you could train. Uh from I, I think from the contacts that we have with the other the other teams. Yeah. Most all the teams are back in training. Spain Spain are training, Ireland are training, England are having issues but they have pushed their players to the fifteen sides. Yeah. Uh, they're playing some rugby. So all teams are training, yeah. apart from Kenya. The big thing is, teams are getting their players. Mm. The systems are running. Yeah. Players are getting some rugby, rugby time that is going on in their life now. Yeah. So for us, from where I don't know when we plan to start. But this is something that we have addressed in some of the the interviews that I've had. We yeah. need to start doing something. Yeah. Even if you have, you have to do it locally. Yeah. You have to get our players doing something to be able to assist in preparation before the Olympics. Yeah. It won't be easy on our side yeah. and we are, we are very disadvantaged and most of the things are not happening in our country. Yeah. Hopefully, very soon, I hope by Monday, mm -hmm. the CS will be able to come out and to give, give us a proper direction on our, what to take from now. So, what I could say outside drug beside. Yeah. What do you think of this car? It's a new Lexus. Like, me and I panda like Ilembai and like it's a coffee car. Uh -huh. It's uh, from what I drive and and, and, and a manual car yeah. to this Porsche car. Yeah. It's a luxurious car and it looks very great on the inside. So like what what's your dream car like like I want to know from Kitoka manual? So my dream car is a Mercedes Benz. Okay. Uh, um, have a, uh, as for now, I'm driving a BMW, a very old one. As old as me, we share the same. <laughs> but what, yeah, but what is gold? Yeah, mm. it, it, it does the work for me and I enjoy riding it. Mm -hmm. So, my dream car is a Mercedes Benz. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you can get a if you can train in, like, what, music, what kind of music do you listen to? Let's say, like, you can get a Queen's Kenya can get a seventh training. So, I'm a, I'm a reggae fan. You're a reggae I, fan? I, I, wow. I, I listen to a lot of reggae. Uh -huh because of the, the message that you're able to get from the, the artists. Yeah. So I enjoy my reggae. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I was station gang, but I was in I'm a ghetto. Ghetto radio, you play reggae, you have a video. Yeah, you have a ghetto radio. You have a classic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, it takes a lot of leadership to be able to come in and to be able to lead our team. Yeah. So when things are good, everybody's happy for Kenya Seven. Things are flowing very well. Yeah. We have sponsors. We have everything. The entire country doing. likes you guys. Everybody likes Kenya Seven. But when Kenya Seven is struggling, like now we are struggling, we have no proper sponsor that can be able to to stand with you, uh, to stand the, the team, and to be able to help the team. Yeah. Go through some of this hard stuff we are going through now. Yeah. So that's why you see there's a lot of. There's no consistency on performance. Yeah. See, the team is, is not performing as it's expected to perform. So we need to be able to to invest in our team. The academy. So we have team an team academy team side that will be able to... Eventually, there's a team in Roma. I think I'm third team in Roma. So, you know, those things were done a long time ago. Yeah. Because it's about sponsorship. Because for a union to be able to commit to two sides yeah. and to contract them to be able to get a side that can be playing in the rugby and to have a side that will be preparing for future. Yeah. So it takes a lot of sacrifices and these are the things that we are praying for corporates to come in yeah. to be able to support the servants yeah. and the future programs that will be able to give us that base of knowing that in future we'll have a good base of players that will be able to come in and feature for Kenya Sevens. Why do coaches leave every time, like after one year, after two you know, seasons? That's an issue that we have 
decide to address with the Kenya rugby. And I think it's really bad for you players. It's you very, really systems. bad for our team. Yeah. The more you change your coaches, the more you keep on changing your system. Yeah. The more you keep on introducing new system to, into a program, mm. the more it takes players to be able to settle in or to play well. Yeah. So, so you know, players adapt to a system and they play to that system yeah. and they make it perfect. Yeah. So every time you change a coach, yeah. our systems are changed. Yeah. So that it means we cannot play the same level we were playing a year before. Uh, yeah. I saw your story somewhere that we pick rugby after high school, Amani. That's true. Like, did you see yourself becoming a Kina Sevens captain and serving for no. so long? No, no. Uh, um, you, you know, my, my rugby was just something that I started as a hobby. Because after high school, yeah. most of the guys who we can be, Kisumu. Kisumu boys. Yeah. So mm -hmm. most of the guys that we, we lived with around mm -hmm. the estate yeah. used to go to Polytechnic. Yeah. And Kisumu Poly. Kisumu Poly for rugby. That's oh. where Kisumu RFC used to play. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So when everybody was living in the my all my friends, my buddies were living to go out. Yeah. That's when one day I followed them to go to the polytechnic. So I High school once again done? Handball and uh, basketball. 2005, uh -huh. played for KCB. 2006, uh -huh. the end of the season, 2006 with KCB. Yeah. I got a call up from Benja. Yeah. To, I think that is the, the first time Benja was coaching Kenya Sevens. Yeah. yeah. So I got a call up from Kenya Sevens, mm -hmm. Benja, Toti, mm -hmm. Osir. Yeah. Yeah. I was called up, I joined the team. Yeah. I was not that good because those were my first first years. I was still learning the still game. Still an amateur. Yeah, uh -huh. I was not as good as I, I would like to be. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was, you wanted to be better than yeah. that. So mm. I, I just had the potential to play because mm. I was able. My body was able to adjust to a lot of things. Yeah. They picked me into the squad. Yeah. I trained for a very long time. I tried to earn a jersey for a very long time before I was able to be picked to to a starting side to a to yeah. a more consistent side. Yeah. By the time I was getting into the squad completely, yeah. it was when McFady came in. Where you come from? Do you have a brother who plays rugby? Yes. Uh -huh. My family is full of sports people. Rugby? My brother plays for Kisumu FC. What's his name? Moses Amonde. Oh! Uh -huh. And my other, my follower brother uh -huh. is an athlete with the AP. Oh, he does the he's a more athlete, he does the 200 meters run. Nice. So he, he does the running for the police. Yeah. Uh, my mom was an athlete at during her days. So my, it's a family thing. It's yeah, my dad was a boxer. Uh -huh. So most of the people thought I would be a boxer and I ended up playing <laughs> rugby. <laughs> rugby in pop, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah rugby is a good sport. Yeah. A great ride, man. Eh? Why? Nice car. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you should get this car, but eh? <laughs> mm? Fortunately, to own a Munga Kitujalia, yeah, these are our dreams that people achieve. Yeah, yeah. I'm enjoy Kong and I hope to see you soon, man. Asante sana, and sugar. I'm going to start soon. Tunaomba. Yeah. Munga Tujalia, it's a road. Yeah. Uh, Santa Eric. Nice. Sikunjama. Ah, yeah. Enjoy yourself. Nice. See ah, you yeah. soon. Thank you. Amazing. Now, that has been Kina Sevens Captain Andrew Amonde on the very first edition of the drive with Eric where we talk to who is who in Kenyan sport. Look out for the next episode. See you then.